Completing a Stuart triple expansion engine, this one is part 26. Cladding the high pressure cylinder with mahogany strips. In my formative years I built a lot of balsa wood model aircraft and then later on I built quite a few steamboats. And now I'm living in the twilight zone, or should I say the twilight years. I build and rebuild quite a lot of steam engines as you may have noticed. I've got to the stage on the triple expansion project where I need to clad the cylinders. So having built many balsa wood model aeroplanes and quite a few steamboats over the years has proved to be very useful. Normally the cylinders on these engines are clad using some blued steel. I'm not sure but I think that the modern stuff is just anodized aluminium and this dints very easily. I really thought it would be a good idea to use some mahogany strip and when this job is finished and the mahogany strips are varnished it should look quite good. The first thing I need to do is give my old drum sanders some attention. All of the sanding drums that I have do not fit very well on some of the holders. I suppose it's all down to who manufactures them. The principle is simple. A piece of rubber is compressed by the screw which expands and holds the drum sander in place. This rubber drum was too big, so by using some emery cloth it's now a bit smaller. I did exactly the same with the smallest of the drum sanders that I use, and here I am tightening the screw to hold it in place. Such luxury, all three of my drum sanders are now complete with new sanding drums. And as you can see, the grit of the sanding drums is quite coarse, it's going to need to be to do this job. The idea is to cut and shape some mahogany strips to fit in the recess in the casting. Before I start this job, I need to remove the cylinder drain cocks. And now with the drain cocks removed, I can start the cladding. This is going to be more difficult than cladding a boiler, because I will need to pack the strips from underneath. As usual for this kind of a job, my adhesive of choice is cyanoacrylate adhesive or superglue. And this is the medium viscosity variant. The very thin superglue is no good at all because it runs everywhere. This job is nowhere near as easy as it looks, because the cylinder casting is not very even. Each of these mahogany strips need to be packed up to the right level. And I can't cut a lot of them, I have to cut them on the bandsaw individually, so they fit in the area of the casting where I need them. The good thing about doing this job is when I make the packing pieces, this is a rehearsal for the ones that fit on the top. To shape the mahogany strips that fit around the parts where the drain cocks fit, I'm using this smaller drum sander. At this point of the video, I would like to say that this takes a long time. It doesn't take a long time if you want it to be very rough, but to get the parts to accurately fit in the casting, it does take rather a long time. In this clip, I'm getting ready to fit two packing strips at the other side. And because of the shape of the cylinder that's built into the casting, all of the packing strips are different thicknesses. If you do get any slight gaps around the mahogany strip, you have a choice. Make the part again if the gap is bad. If it's really tiny, there is a trick that fixes it. I'll tell you about this later. I made four pieces of mahogany shape to fit around the drain cock area. And just to show that I'm not telling lies, I'm using them here as wedges to hold the properly shaped strips until the glue's dried. A useful accessory when doing this job is a dressmaker's pin. This will allow me to easily place the packing pieces where they need to be. This job is very fiddly and you will need plenty of patience if you decide to do your engine this way. In this close-up you can see me using the pin to position this piece of scrap. Now for the difficult bit, I have to cut two pieces of wood to fit either side of the central pieces. And here I'm using a larger diameter sanding drum to shape them. You will see that the shape is uneven, but it needs to be this way because the casting is uneven. As I'm fitting this cladding, in a lot of the shots it looks a bit rough, but there is quite a lot of sanding to do to make it smooth. And I can't really do that until the cyanoacrylate adhesive has set. I must say it's looking quite good. I want to get a sneak preview of what it's going to look like when it's varnished. So I brushed on some white spirit and immediately wiped it off. It looks okay, but there is, as I've just said, a lot more sanding required yet. In this clip I've put the exhaust pipe in place just to make sure it fits and nothing gets in the way. I think it's time to have a bit of a clean up around the area where I've been sanding. But first I need to collect and keep some of the mahogany dust. This is very good for gap filling, I'll show you more about this later. 
These four holes in the casting are threaded to take four BA bolts. I'm drilling through into the mahogany and I'm going to thread the mahogany so it doesn't interfere with the bolt. If I don't do this and the bolts are a little bit long, when I tighten the bolts the mahogany strip will be pushed out of place, if the bolts are not exactly the right length. This gives me a bit of flexibility. The side that I've just clad with the mahogany strip was the most difficult one. Now I've turned the cylinder round and this is a lot easier. For this job I am not following the principles of the Greek philosopher known as Mediocrates. So I'm afraid that, oh it'll do, is not really what I want to be saying. There's a bit of an optical illusion going on here. If you look at this clip it would seem that there is a big gap around the shape of the casting, but it's not a gap, it's just that the piece of wood is higher than it should be. What you're actually seeing is just a shadow. Believe it or not, to clad both of the sides of the high pressure cylinder took almost three hours to do. And I don't work slowly. So many of the clips just look like this, the back of my hand. But eventually, after a lot of rubbing down, I applied a little bit more white spirit, and it's looking okay. But there's still a fair way to go, quite a lot more rubbing down is still required in different grades of sandpaper. And as the cylinder block for the intermediate and low pressure cylinder is a lot bigger than this one, that should take even longer. And in any case, if it doesn't look right when I've finished it, I can always cover it in a sheet of metal. And that's it, I can do no more cladding for today. Stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.